So according to the instructions, we need to pull out the cable, pull out the chain, um, remove the handle, remove the bolts from the handle, and lay the return mechanism down. So like, that's the plan now, right? That's the, the we're very excited, you can tell. I tapped on this end of the U bolt some, and these came out, and it's a half inch wrench, just like the book says. But here's the monorail, I'm sitting backwards on the seat, and at the end of it, there's a screw here and a screw here, and there are similar screws, let me slide the other way. In the front, there's the footboard, here's the monorail, and if you come around here, there's a screw here, and another one on this side. Sorry, I gotta turn the camera. Here. So, we took out the bolts that were holding it to the monorail, which were here and on the other side, and then down at the very end um, on both sides. And uh, we have the old assembly here. You can tell from the terrible shape the chain is in, and the new assembly there, which you can tell from the gorgeous shape that chain's in. And now we're going to go through um, what would normally happen next is, in the manual they sent me, we're uh, looking at the parts, detailing the skewer. They've got some really nice diagrams about checking things. Here's the thing. I don't know how old this piece is. So I'm replacing the whole thing. I just bought the whole assembly and we're just going to replace it start to finish. So I'm going to review all the pieces, make sure that everything's where it should be and appropriately tightened. And then we're basically going to skip to, like we're going to do the inspection, but then we're basically going to skip straight to installing the skewer um, because I'm going to check through the return mechanism, but I'm assuming since it came straight from the Concept 2 um, warehouse that it's in good shape and then we will go to the install. But all of the pictures here were... We might, like, we're going to inspect everything, but we're not going to change out individual parts. I just decided we were going to go whole hog, change out the whole thing. All right, I've inspected everything according to the book. The last instructions say, make sure that it looks like the diagram uh, on this page, this figure A. It does. Uh, and then it says, uh, satisfied, good, check again. And I did. <laughs> I even... Um, Pulled the chain out to make sure the mechanism here, the traveling pulley pulled like it was supposed to, and now we're up to installation. So step one is to remove the four screws. I wanted to zoom in over there. Thank you. Remove the, uh, hello dog, sorry. Uh, remove the four screws in each of the white pulleys, so top and bottom, and top and bottom there. It's going to be left and right when it goes in, but where, the way I have it sitting, it's up, it's up and down. Um, there are washers underneath them. Make sure you don't drop the washers. So, I don't have a tripod, which would make this much easier, but anyhow, we're about to install the new one into the monorail, so it's going to go in like this, theoretically, easily. It's probably going to take both hands. This is overly optimistic, I think this will work. So I'm going to have to put this down, but anyhow, the new skewer assembly goes in like this. Alright, so I'm in the process of sliding the new skewer assembly inside the monorail. Um, this was finicky. Because the traveling pulley has a bolt out the side of it that holds the sprocket inside the thing. And it kept getting caught here. Um, so I used my um, crochet hook, actually. And um, put the crochet hook in just enough there that it wouldn't get caught. And then the skewer assembly slid in just fine. Um, as with everything else in life, if you have to force it, it's probably not the way it ought to be. Um, slide it out and slide it back in. Also, and I think you can see it from here. If you get in here, there's a ridge, and as you slide it in, you need to make sure that both sets of the skewer assembly are appropriately sorted across the ridge, or it will get stuck right there, right as you start. So keep that in mind. All right, I've got the skewer assembly pushed all the way in. There's a pin holding my chain, um, and I have the at least the oh, screw hole for the pulley here lined up here, which means it'll be lined up on that side too. I'm going to go check the back down there, down there, and... Um, the booklet said to sit on the seat and um, tighten the right side first and then the left side. So we're going to do that next. All right, so I have the um, monorail or the skewer assembly in. You can see it inside the monorail here. I have fixed it so that this um, support piece for the uh, shock cord is um, square and even with the edges. So it's not poking out, which is good. And that allows me to let this... Um, 
screw go into the uh, socket correctly. And this one here, the ones on the other side are also uh, in place holding everything together. And now I'm going to do, because uh, I'm sitting on the, uh, sitting backwards, I'm going to do the right side ones, which are here when you sit the correct way on the seat. And then I'm going to do the left side ones. Now that the screws are all tightened into the monorail here, for example, we're going to take the chain uh, out far enough to pull out the pen. I'm going to thread it through the sprocket back there. Wow, that's a terrible picture. Anyway, the sprocket in there, bring it back through and put the, um, the uh, handle back on so that there's a handle. This honestly feels like one of those things that would be a lot easier if there weren't a pandemic on and I had two sets of hands. But anyway, I've pulled the chain way out. You're probably not supposed to do this. I put the pin back in it, and now I'm going to run it through the sprocket that's down there. All right, so now we have shiny and over a sprocket and then uh, enough um, laxity in the chain that I can let go of this and it'll still be here. And I'm going to grab the handle and the U-bolt and the nuts, and we're going to put it all back together. All right, I kind of totally forgot. Because of the um, just the way that grips looked, and since I was ordering stuff anyway, I bought new hand grips. Basically, the way you get to these is I'm going to take my handy-dandy pocket knife, cut this off, uh, wood glue it. I think it's wood glue. I saw a picture anyway. Um, Concept2 has this on their website. But you cut the piece. You, I think Elmer's glue will probably do it. You put the new piece on. You let it dry. We're going to do that before I hook the chain back up. So, new hand grips on the old, old thing. I've got my U-bolt here. I'm gonna connect it to the, um, the chain here in a minute. The video that showed how to do the new hand grip thing, by the way, was like, oh, just hit it on something. And like, honest to goodness, it went so much faster when I was just like, and then it was on and it was fine. So bear that in mind, I'm gonna hook this up to this now and I'm gonna um, take the pin out down here. And then according to the book, I should be good to go. All right, I've just taken the hammer and um, tapped the nuts here in so that they're even um, and not gonna catch on anything as I pull forward. Uh, this is what the new, um, uh, there's a word for it, but it's like a universally spinning thing, which is great for the um, being able to like move your hands on the rower and not mess up the chain, which is so cool. So I'm gonna pull this towards the, um, where it holds there, and that should get the pin, yeah, there it is, the pin far enough out for me to remove it. And according to the thing, I should be good to go, so. Oh my gosh, <gasps> tension, it works. And my monitor turned on, look at that. All right, cool, cool. So anyway, that was how to replace the skewer assembly on a um, Concept 2 Model B rower so i hope that helps somebody um i wish i had had it so that's why i made one